Chandler, and welcome to the Marlin Report at Fort Stewart, Georgia, home of the 3rd Infantry Division, 3rd Combined Arms Battalion, 69th Armored Regiment, along with their Dutch and German allies, left their mark in history as they participated in a historic mission ride on June 6th. By conducting a combined river assault crossing with M1A2 SEP B2 Abrams main battle tanks and M2A3 Bradley Infantry fighting vehicles, using the German M3 Amphibious Bridging Vehicle as part of Operation Heightstrom Shock, highlighting the ability to rapidly deploy and integrate combat forces within the NATO alliance. Sergeant Dean Gannon has more. The Dark Knights of 3rd Combined Arms Battalion, 69th Armor Regiment, left their mark in history during Operation Freedom Shock 2 in Kleitz, Germany on June 6th. This mission was incredible. We had Dutch, Germans, uh, American forces come together within a couple days and then go ahead and uh, execute an operation with three different nations very, very quickly. Shows a lot of readiness on the part of the Dutch, the Germans, and ourselves. We had to make sure our equipment was maintained get it up here with the set that the Germans, Dutch, and our Americans wanted, and we had to make sure it was ready to go on day of execution. Rail ops went extremely smooth. I think within the first hour, we had all five tanks and all four Bradleys loaded. Within two and a half hours, everything was complete. Uh, the train was staged and ready to take off. At that point, we're looking at maps. We're working on our plan. We're figuring out what we think is going to happen. We're essentially conducting our first stages of the military decision-making process. Linking up with German leadership, uh, we met with a few of them a few days ago, trying to just hash out a few details and how we were going to communicate, you know, bypassing that language barrier. It was pretty smooth, honestly. The German army is nothing but professional, a professional army that I would love to stand with in a fight. Within a couple hours of getting on the ground, we had linked in with our NATO allies and we're able to show that, hey, we're here to do business as well are they and use their equipment to execute this incredible opportunity. I was very honored to be chosen to be the lead tank to go across the German M3. I was the first tank commander in the history of the United States in the history of the world, actually, to take his M1 Abrams across a German M3. One of the biggest things that struck me about this day is that it's the 71st anniversary of the uh, D-Day landings in Normandy. And I find it interesting that uh, you know, 71 years ago today, the U.S. and Germany were pitched enemies in a world war, and now today we're crossing this river together, which again, I think kind of speaks to the benefits of working with NATO and our partners in NATO. Reporting from Germany, I'm Army Sergeant Dean Gannon. Thank you for watching the Marn Report. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you will never miss an episode. Rock of the Marn.